I think the biggest takeaway that I'm having from the Micah Fellowship is that uh, every single experience that I've had here applies to the real world and really taking it on myself to really apply these things to my leadership, who I am as a person, but more importantly, how I am when I interact with people, especially people different than me. And I think the broadest themes that have been coming out of this is love and acceptance. And I've been learning how to love everybody in this community, everybody at my work site, and really see how with this mentality of love and acceptance and vulnerability, we can change the world. So living in an intentional community has been very challenging and intense, but it's also been very rewarding. I've come to realize how important communication is and we often say here that it's like, oh, we married 11 other people and in a sense we really did and I just like have learned so much about myself and I think I've really found out like what I'm passionate about and everything that I've learned here, I want to like apply it to my daily life back home and it's just been a really beautiful and enriching experience. The profound experience that I had during MICA was during my street outreach for the Nonprofit Institute. Um, I was doing a street outreach and one of the day laborers came to me and said that it's nice to know that people really care about us and that there's people out there who want to put themselves to help those who nearly don't have uh, the means to be successful in this world. Probably the most profound moment for me was after the first week um, of entering this MICA fellowship when we were all getting along really well um, and it already started to feel like a family. Um, we kind of questioned like, oh, there's really no struggles with this. And then when the second week rolled around, we started to feel um, some tension within the community. But I think for me, it felt like a real community then because we were just real people who were living together and um, we were a family regardless of the tension, regardless of the controversy. It was just a real group of people.